Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to play around with our friend the 741 op amp and create a non-inverting amplifier and we're going to look at what happens when you get too close to the supply rails. So first of all, let's go over the layout of the 741 with its eight pins. All right, so pin one, not connected. Pin two is our inverting input. Pin three is our non-inverting input. And pin four is our minus V. Pin five, not connected. Pin six is our output. And pin seven is our plus V. So to set up our circuit, going to look something like this. Here is our inverting input, our non-inverting input, our output, plus 12 volts, negative 12 volts, and into the non-inverting input we are going to put a sine wave of about 3 volts. So to create the non-inverting amplifier, we are going to put a feedback resistor here that goes into the non-inverting input, or into the inverting input. And then we will also make a voltage divider and take that to ground. So this is R2, this is R1, and the ratio between them will determine our gain. And the formula for that, which is called A, amplifier gain, equals 1 plus R2 divided by R1. Okay. So in this case, we are going to use a 22K resistor on R1 and a 50K potentiometer on R2. That will allow us to adjust the gain and see what happens when we get closer to the rails. So let's take a look at that. All right, here is our setup. We have our uh, 741 right here, and we have a split power supply coming in. So we have plus 12 volts here, we have minus 12 volts here, and we have ground here. Now our signal is coming in here into pin three, the non-inverting input. Now up here on pin five is our output, which is going to this potentiometer, which only has two wires hooked up, the wiper and one of the outside, so it's acting as a variable resistor. And the other side comes out of it and feeds back into pin two, our inverting input, and then through this resistor, it goes down to ground. And that's how we have set up our amplifier. Now let me zoom out here just a little. And over here is our signal generator, which is outputting a sine wave at about, well, it's about four volts right now. Let me uh, take her down to about three volts. Okay, so we're at about three volts. Let me reposition here so you can see the oscilloscope. All right, here is scope view. Now I'm just gonna offset one of these here for a second. 
the yellow trace is the output of the amplifier that's channel one the blue trace is the input from the signal generator and that is channel two and as you can see right now what we have created is basically a buffer there is uh, no gain whatsoever but if I adjust this part right here and we take a look at the screen now you can see that we do have some gain where our input is at about three volts peak to peak, you are now seeing 4.2 volts peak to peak. And if I adjust the gain some more, we're up to 5.36 volts peak to peak. Now, unfortunately, if I go any further than that, or if I increase the signal input, you see, the, you see how it's clamping the signal there? Now that's increasing our signal input. Let me increase the output from the amplifier. You'll see the same thing happens. maximum gain there all right let me adjust here we're going to take this back down to unity gain then we'll bump this up to about four volts peak to peak now if I adjust up right there at 6.4 volts it clamps and that's what happens when we get too close to the rails. So that would be in saturation and that would give us distortion. So we just have to back off a little bit and we get our nice sine waves and kaboom. So with our input of about four volts, we're getting an output of almost seven volts. That's a nice non-inverting amplifier with a very smooth signal. Okay, if you take a look now, pardon me. I forgot to put my microphone on. All right, if you take a look now, what you see is an inverting amplifier. The blue trace is still our input and the yellow trace is our output. Let's take a look at how this is set up. Let me zoom in here. So now the feedback from the output still goes to the inverting input but in this case we have our this is a 47 ohm resistor this is a 22 ohm resistor set up as a voltage divider and our input comes into the inverting input our non-inverting input goes to ground everything else is the same so if we come up here and we look at the output you can see where we're at the waves are inverted so when our input is high our output is low 
and I can demonstrate this again by varying the input signal. Now watch what happens as I increase the signal too much and boom we are at 8.32 volts peak to peak and the op amp has clamped the outputs let's get this adjusted here so that the input is not clamped there we go and you can see that since we're now inverting the clamp is on the negative voltage side so if we adjust for no clamping boom there we are so now you guys have got a good look at inverting and non-inverting amplifiers using uh, the 741 op amp with a split power supply now here's a little nugget for you you can use the 741 with a single supply but you need to implement virtual ground and we'll get into that in another video so I hope you guys like this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to like comment and share and I will see you next time